hello my newman family welcome back to the ministry how are you all doing i hope you're doing very well i want to release a word again today as the lord laid it upon my heart i was connected to a service a couple of days and it was a praise session and it was a ministration going on and um the man of god bishop david Oedipo, he said something you are about to see what you've never seen before and that was the Spirit of God speaking through him because the word is confirmed in 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9. And I want to come here to, to prophesy that word over you, child of God. This word is for you. You are about to see what you've never seen before. And we all know what 1 Corinthians 2 9 says. And if you don't know, this is what it says. And it says, but as it is written, what eyes has not seen, nor ear heard nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God prepared for those that love him. And I want to prophesy that over you, that many of you that are still about to bet and bring forth the promise as God had spoken it over you, that you are about to see what eyes have not seen, the way that God is going to bring you into that um, hour of bething before your very eyes, what the Lord um, begins to manifest before you is going to be something you've never ever imagined something that that you never ever thought would ever happen to you in the name of jesus christ you just remain on that path of love stay connected to the lord do not doubt do not be afraid and don't let anybody tell you you're wasting your time stop believing you've been waiting for so long no you see when you're in your night season the Lord allows you to go through some things because when he eventually brings you to that place where he begins to display his power and glory and reveal what he has planned and prepared for you, he wants to do it in a way that not only you will be stunned and shocked, but everyone around you, including your friends and your family, will say, wow. Yes, you do serve a living God. So you are about to see what eyes have not seen in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That is what the Lord is saying to you right now. Let's look at the scripture in Isaiah 64 verse 4. From of old, no one has heard or perceived by the ear. No eye has seen a God beside you who acts for those who wait on him. How wonderful, how beautiful is that scripture? No eyes has seen, no ears ha has heard, amen, what the Lord wants to do for those who wait upon him. This is Isaiah 64 verse 4, you all. Wait upon the Lord because he's coming through for you. It may have taken long. My own miracle took a long time. My testimony took a long time. My marriage restoration took a long time, but it came. It came. It came. So how long have you been waiting for? The Lord is saying to you right now, hold on, wait on me. He says in his word, those who trust in me will not be put to shame. The Lord sees that you trust in him, that you've been waiting, that you've been holding on, that you've been serving. Keep doing all what you've been doing. Don't be discouraged by the enemy. Don't be discouraged by your, by your circumstances because the Lord is coming through for you. Amen. Let's look at Isaiah 66 verse 14. It says, you shall see and your heart shall rejoice. That is somebody's word. You shall see and your heart shall rejoice. Your bones shall flourish like the grass and the hand of the Lord shall be known to his servants and he shall show his indignation against his enemies. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. May this word bless somebody in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. King of kings and Lord of lords. Father, Lord, let your people, your children, O oh God, that have been waiting upon you, O oh Lord, to receive the promise. They've been holding on. Lord, let it begin to manifest in such a groundbreaking way. Father, bring into manifestation, O oh Lord, the things that you have spoken, what eyes have not seen, what ears have not heard, Heavenly Father, begin to do, O oh Lord, in their lives. For the ones who love you with all their hearts, who serve you, Heavenly Father, O oh Lord, who've been faithful, who've gone through the wilderness, who've gone through trying times, hard times, who are waiting for healing. May their healing begin to manifest 
right now by the power of your Holy Spirit. May those waiting for a godly marriage, those waiting for a great job opportunity, those waiting to establish their business, those waiting for the fruit of the womb, those waiting to go into delivery, oh God, they've been carrying that child in their womb for so long. This is their hour, oh Lord. Come through heavenly Father in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and put their mockers to shame, oh Lord. Father, thank you that your word is yes and amen. Be glorified, O Lord, because you are doing what no eyes have seen and what no ears have heard for your people today. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you all so much for connecting to this word. Be mightily blessed in Jesus Christ's name. If you're new, please subscribe. This is Newman Godfrey Church and I'm Minister Glean AJ Ehoje and we love you all very much. See you all soon.